Each day, about 30 million people are exposed to dangerous noise levels that can damage hearing. But now, new research will help hearing experts better test therapies that may prevent hearing loss. University of Florida researchers have developed a new model for inducing temporary hearing loss. You're going to be listening through these headphones. The model will allow more accurate testing in people of therapies that have been shown to prevent hearing loss in animals. The new model will jumpstart stalled research that has lacked a reliable method for testing drugs against noise-induced hearing loss. There's been a number of trials looking at different drugs in the past and really they have largely failed for one common reason and that's that they haven't been able to get any change in the placebo condition. And so with this model, we have a defined change in hearing against which we're able to measure protection. The model was developed by analyzing temporary hearing loss induced in college students listening to various music levels on portable music players. UF researchers will use the model to launch two FDA-monitored clinical trials that are designed to test therapies that can help prevent noise-induced hearing loss. With this new model, what we can do is very quickly establish whether a drug has promise for protecting the inner ear in humans. The trials will help researchers figure out what kind of drugs might work and which won't as they try to find ways to help people who are at risk of losing their hearing. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Billowich.